You know what's awesome? Arcades. You could play games, eat food, or win prizes. You could possibly win candy or toys as well. But today, we're going to be reviewing the Toy Factory Sonic the Hedgehog courses. I only have the Sonic and Metal, so let's start off with the main man, Sonic. This Sonic plush is very well done when it comes to accuracy, but there are some things about him that aren't very accurate. Sonic's stomach is pretty round considering this is a modern Sonic plush, but this is probably for the best. The separation between Sonic's stomach and the rest of his body looks really nice, but there is a pretty noticeable seam line in Sonic's stomach. Sonic's spikes look very good, and Sonic's face looks pretty accurate compared to modern Sonic artwork. And Sonic's eyes are embroidered beautifully. Sonic's shoes look good and kind of small, but like I said, this is probably for the best. Although this Sonic push doesn't look 100% accurate, it still looks very good. Modern Sonic wasn't the only Sonic plush toy factory made, as they also made a classic Sonic plush. This plush is basically the same plush as the modern Sonic, with classic Sonic features, like a lighter blue, black eyes, and classic Sonic shoes. I guess this is why modern Sonic's stomach looks rounder than usual. Now, let's take a look at Miles' Tails Prowler. This Tails plush is very good, and his face is pretty cute. Tails has bangs, cheek tufts, and chest tufts are just pieces of felt, so they could probably attract dust, so you would have to be very careful with those features. Tails' stomach is round, but that is true to Tails' character. Tails' tails are big, and they look great, although the tips of Tails' tails are printed instead of separated pieces. Tails' shoes are also very good, and like Sonic's, they're pretty small. Here comes this boy, and he's tougher than leather. This knuckle plush is actually pretty good. His face is very well detailed, and the crescent moon shape on his stomach is printed rather than embroidered. Knuckles' boxing gloves have the correct amount of zero fingers and a thumb, and his knuckles look great. Knuckles' shoes are also printed, and they look fantastic. I think this Knuckles plush might be my favorite in this set. Here comes the final plush in this set, Shadow the Hedgehog. This shadow plush shares a lot of similarity to the Sonic plush. That's basically because they're the same exact plush with the features each character has. Shadow's eyes, once again, are embroidered beautifully. Shadow's chest fur and the red highlights on his arms and legs are printed out on the fabric, but the highlights on Shadow's head are a separate fabric. Shadow's skin has a darker shade than Sonic's, which is accurate. Shadow's hover boots look good at the top, but on the bottom, they're just red with no detail. This shadow plush still looks good though, in my opinion. That's it for the release plushes. No obscure characters or background characters. And definitely no Eggman or Amy. Jeez, let's talk about that. In Toy Factory's Sonic plush catalog, it shows the classic Sonic plush and the modern Sonic plushes. On the left of the modern Sonic plushes, there's a picture of an Amy plush. There's also a picture of a classic Tails plush, but the label says modern, so I'm guessing this is a mistake, or they probably are releasing a classic Tails plush. But anyways, back to Amy. We've never seen an Amy plush made by Toy Factory, or at least I haven't. So is this plush a prototype? I'm not sure, but in the making of this video, I stumbled across a picture of larger scale plushes of the modern Sonic plushes. And they already released a larger scale plush of the classic Sonic plush. But there's also a picture of the modern Amy plush. So, I'm guessing they're considering on releasing this plush. But I'm not sure. Next, let's talk about Dr. Eggman. Also, in the making of this video, I stumbled across a picture of an Eggman plush. I assumed nothing of it. I thought it was just another uh, random Eggman plush from uh, some company. But I was apparently wrong. It seemed to look like the Eggman from the Sonic emojis. So I thought it was from Tomy because they released emoji Sonic plushes. But 
it said it was made by Toy Factory. So, does that mean Toy Factory is also considering on making an Eggman? That's what I'm guessing. So, it looks like the emoji, and it doesn't look like Sonic Boom. So, it's modern Eggman. That's good. Thank you guys for watching. And tell me what you think about these plushes. And tell me what you think about the release plushes. So, see you guys next time. Ciao.